Most SEO gurus would charge you $300 an hour for this strategy. But this is a must if you want to succeed in SEO and this keyword research strategy is something that you must have a look at and follow. So let's get started. Let's say you are an e-com brand that sells routers. So how do you go about doing keyword research and how do you get SEO traffic? So let's start with Ahrefs Keyword Explorer and just enter your main topic in here. Now in the keyword idea section, just click on view all so, so that Ahrefs is able to show you all of the keyword variations of, of your main topic. The magic is here. Next thing we do is KD is basically Ahrefs keyword difficulty score. And uh, what we are going to do is we are going to put in that show us the keywords uh, that have difficulty up to 10 and we are going to apply it. Next, what we are going to do, this is the main um, uh, this is the main thing that we are going to follow. So lowest DR, this feature Ahrefs uh, has introduced very recently and it's a game changer. So what we do is we want Ahrefs to show only those keywords where let's say a site with DR20 is ranking in the top five. What that does uh, to us is it allows Ahrefs to show us only those keywords that we will be able to rank for if we have a site that is starting new. So we do that, we apply and we click on show results. Now Ahrefs is able to showcase you all of the sites uh, and all of the keywords that have either keyword difficulty less than 10 and uh, a site with DR less than 20 is ranking in the top five. To actually refine it more, what we do is we click on word count and let's start with at least four word count. And then we click on show results. So what that does, it only shows us keywords that have a word count of four and more. Now have a look at that. Here, we'll have to manually filter each keyword which is relevant to us. So let's have a look at WPS button on Xfinity Finder. So if you are a router blog or if you have an e-com where you have created a blog for routers, these are the kind of keywords that would help you to rank. So let's say site with uh, domain rating 8 ranking at the fourth spot. That means there are enough weak spots in this particular subs and you can just come at it with, with better content and get some links and you're, you'll be able to rank for and get traffic from there. The next would be if you have an e-com store or if you're an affiliate blog, another thing that you could do is you could include words like best. So if you, if you do that and if you apply now, Ahrefs will show you the terms that, uh, that have all of these criteria, but also include the word best in there uh, in the keyword. So let's say best long range Wi-Fi router. If you are selling routers or if you have a blog that, sell, uh, that where you compare routers, this would be a goldmine keyword for you you can have a look that this is a site with dr0 that's ranking at the fifth position that means even though this op is competitive but it's not as competitive as one would think just by having a look at okay all of these sites are high dr but because this one particular site is able to get into that you will be able to get into that as well with good content and some links so that's how we basically do it we just go through each keyword make a list of them and then use my chat gpt formula for for keyword research that i had shared in the last video and then you can kind of create content using AI and chat GPT or Claude, and then you can rank for those keywords. So that's how we kind of steal our competitors keywords with using this keyword strategy. And we are able to outrank them with better content and some links. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and make sure to watch my keyword research hack with chat GPT video that should be on the screen now. Peace.